So do you have one of these 40 volt lithium brushless lawn mowers, these Ryobi mowers? And uh, you put it up for the winter, you didn't need it. You come back, you put your battery in, and you just can't get it working. Like I know the lights are on on this one, but you put the battery in, the lights won't go on, and uh, you press the start, you do everything you normally do, you know you're doing it right, and it just won't turn on, right? So, uh, you know, one of the things you may want to look at after definitely check everything on the outside, make sure everything's going through the way you want. But um, we had a problem with our gas mower. So a friend of mine was going to let me borrow and, and have maybe this mower if we wanted it. He went out there to go uh, get it for us and put the battery in and it was completely dead. Battery was good, but mower wouldn't work. So uh, I decided I took it anyway because it's, you know, electric and he didn't need it and uh, figured I'd see what's going on with it. Well, long story short, I uh, went through all the testing, wasn't uh, coming on, battery has a good charge on it, and um, the, uh, the instructions, I mean, it, it sounded like everything we were doing it right. So I was like, okay, then there's probably something minor, maybe there's a few, something inside. Pull it apart. Lo and behold, something like a mouse or something had gotten in there while this was in storage and ate through some of the wires. Now, you may see the scissors there. I went and I clipped the ends off and did a very rude uh, connection on them, put some black tape just to see if it'll work, and guess what? It's working. So, this is just a quick overview of if you get this, there's a lot of spaces around this device a little mouse could squeeze into, and uh, there was a lot of a lot of uh, grass on the inside and and actually I'll probably uh, cut to another video I'm gonna take the top off of this again so you can see it and I can make sure everything's taped up well but there's a lot of nesting room in there for mice and lo and behold there was tons of grass in there so I'm pretty sure there was a little mouse nest in there and they made it comfy and they ate the wires up but like I said I put it all back together taped them up threw it in put the battery in and this mower's working fine so uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the lid off again and let you see the inside, but, uh, you know, if you think it's dead, you think it's just, uh, don't know what it is, you may just want to unscrew the, what is it, four, five, six, eight, eight screws it looks like it takes to get the thing off, and make sure nobody ate through your wires. But uh, give me another second, I'm going to take the top off and let y'all see what's in there. Alright, so the lid's up, let me show you the bottom of the lid. As you can see... There is a lot of nice, comfy nesting room inside of this mower for, uh, for a whole mouse family. And you may think, what a minute, I live in the city, I don't have any mice. Well, mice and rats are everywhere. And uh, we live in a pretty nice area, and I don't really ever see mice here. I see them all the time at our land, but uh, they're going to get in there if they can. We had a, a, a mouse set up shop in a minivan that we had one time ate all the wires uh on the engine had to get all the wiring harnesses redone because they liked it uh i guess it was nice and warm but uh yeah so i did scoop out a whole lot of uh dead grass in here i'm sure a lot of this comes from just mowing but you could see it looked like they had made themselves a little nest in here and um definitely up here in the front there was some but if you'll notice there's black tape right there that was my crude splicing I did, but, uh, you know, I, I did it, and I'm going to test it for a while. If it runs real good, real good, I may open it up again and put some uh, heat shrink on it and everything to make the wires better. But I was able to cut out the, uh, the little pieces they gnawed on and um, put it in, and I was able to get it running again. So, uh, But anyways, this is the inside of your 40-volt Ryobi mower. Um, you know, I wasn't expecting much in here either. Uh, I was a little worried that it might be filled with foam or something to fill in all these voids, but obviously it's not. But you got a basic uh, little board right there that works with your batteries. Uh, there's your battery slides and then the thicker electrical wire. You got you a little, um, probably a, some kind of converter, inverter to, uh, to manage uh, all the, I guess, basic functions of this uh, of this mower and then you've got your little brushless motor right here that goes directly down to uh, the blade but uh yeah that's it so i'm gonna put this thing back together one thing you'll need to know too if you're taking the lid off there's two little screws 
they're on the side of this uh, this height lever right here. So after you take off the uh, the screws, they're hex hex heads. If uh, once you take those hex head screws out, uh, you're going to have to take that height adjuster handle off and uh, to make it come out. But uh, but that's it. It's really simple. There's not a lot to these, and and uh, I was actually surprised. Like I said, when when he had this issue. Uh, he was wondering if maybe someone left it out in the rain thinking maybe it got in here and, and messed up a board or something but uh but no just just mice just critters so anyways i just wanted to give that offer that up as an idea if if, uh, if you're you're banging your head on your mower and you're trying to figure out what's going on uh pop the top see what's in there and you may is you may find the exact same thing i did uh with the wires all chewed up so all right hope that helps somebody good luck all right, she's all back together. Let's, uh, let's try it out. Oh, and did I say she's all back together? It's all back together. I'm sorry. I'm trying to make sure I'm using the right pronouns and everything. It is back together. And I go here and I check. It's got three lights. This is the uh, battery out of a 40 volt weed eater that we have. And then I'm gonna put the key in. All right, keys in, batteries in, lights are off. Now, I believe you, it says press and hold the button. There it goes, lights came on. And now I gotta pull the bar. There it goes. It's a running. So, uh, mice. If you're not dealing with uh, carburetors clogging with gas, you're dealing with batteries dying and mice eating your wires. So that's, uh, you always got something going on. That's it. So I uh, hope this helps y'all. Thanks.